Hello everybody, I'm Jesse on, and welcome to another episode of Space Pirates and Zombies. Hopefully this time we'll have uh, less weird things going on with the um, desktop and whatnot, since I'm just recording the full screen, and just playing it in full screen mode. Uh, so hopefully, let's uh, see that this works here. We'll continue. I believe last time we left off we were trying to get to the, um, the who's it's. The trying to get out of the system, but uh, we got a big ship that's blocking our way and we need to uh, get past it. And to do that, we need to just uh, set up, build up our resources, get ready for the. Uh, get ready for this. Um, what have I got? So we got hatchets. Alright, uh, all right, system map. So we've got some things going on here. Sith Patrol versus UTA Patrol. Here we got uh, Beacon Basher. Civilian Patrol. So we don't really want to take out the Civilian Patrol. See, as it says, this mission requires you to attack civilian targets that are currently friendly to you. We don't really want to do that. We, we, the UTA is already our enemy, the Utah Transit Authority. Um, and they've already got zero out of three strength. So, they're, like, they're pretty much like some garbage right now. A res reward 87, data reward 29. That? Okay, ships, that's all the things that we've got. So we want more res, we definitely want more data. And the, these like won't go away after, just by my sitting here. They, the It says down at the bottom expiry is, uh, expiry is three jumps. That means after three jumps that'll disappear. These are all three jumps, that's five. This is a battle. Um, and there's like, there's not much we can do there except for just blowing up some ships and getting their data. 87 and 29. Oh, wait, we don't want to do that one anyway. 87, 29. 87, 29. All right. Um, I don't really want to do escort. Let's blow up some beacons. So here we are, here's all the beacons down here. Alright, so I've got two beams. Come on, there it is. fly away for a bit. Blew that up. Oh, we have actually got quite a bit of cargo capacity in here as well. Is that my ship, or that's like a allied ship, I guess? It's not a. Oh, yes, it is attacking there. Lots of blowing stuff up here. Ooh, let's get these, uh... Okay, he got that crew. Let's get up here. Just recharging our, uh, shields. Actually, our shields are at full. We're, uh, repairing our hull, I think. Can't really, like, hover over anything. Fly up here and let they'll take care of that one. I'll just take care of this one up here. There's only two left, so once we get rid of that one, and they're gonna be busy taking care of those guys. I really have a missile boat. Why did I get the missile boat? I've, I wasn't particularly impressed with it. Please adhere to the 
Come on. Okay, I gotta, gotta let my ship recharge here. Somebody's sending me a message. I'm not gonna respond to it since I'm actually recording. I probably should have like, just turned that off. Come on, guys. Yes, come on. Ah, look at that. Beautiful. Alright, so he's gonna attack me here. Oh, and my ship's all slow because I'm full of nonsense here. I gotta get out of here. Come on, guys. You guys like hit that guy for me? Oops. Okay, well, we beat it. We got level up. <laughs> My ship got blown up, but okay. So let's level up our research here. Let's get some uh, points in, in the hole, and um, well, I guess we're already at level one shields, and some engines would be nice. Um, okay, so this one, we cancel, change builds, that's the only thing we can build, okay. And now let's uh, let's get out of here. Oh, we can't. Uh, we're still under attack. So, you should try technology levels and ensure ships back to the ship be automatically upgraded. Well, uh, my ships are getting blown up. So. Got uh, decent, uh, so you know. Now we're in the missile boat, which isn't really great, but you know, hey, there you go. Oh, well, hey, we beat it. Ah, now we can build the boomerang, which is a much better ship. Hangers, let's go here. Change hull. Get that boomerang. Yeah, it's um, pretty much better. Uh, missile boat's all right, actually. It did its job. Yeah, we'll get that. So we'll keep that. Auto builds are on there. Oh yeah, and uh, we should just, we don't have to, really have to go back to the beacon, we can just go somewhere else. Here's that. UTA now hates us completely. Let's go ahead and, uh... So our research level, we're at level 5, so we can... So we can attempt to go again, but uh, let's go ahead and 
do this for now. Alright, so right now we've got the um, same ships. When they get blown up or when we get back to the mothership, they'll get refitted. Escort the ship to safety. I'm sure at some point the um, That's better. Escort health is uh, recharging. That's a really big gun. Oops, did I just hit it? I just hit it with my missiles. Some more here already. There's Beacon. He's leaving. Okay, that's uh, I did the wrong button there. Q and E switches your ship still. T? R? What is the button to target? I can never remember. Sometimes you just want to change targets. It's not tab. Tab is what it is in, um... Oh, come on. Alright, so we'll get out of here again. Let me figure out what the button is to, to change friggin'... Previous targets are, next target is F. Okay. I should, like, change that just to be tab. There we go. Tab. Alright, uh, now let's get out of here. So we've got more things that are opening up if we want to take them. A UTA patrol, another escort, a trash heap. Let's do one more and then maybe we'll go to visit the black market on the Civ station and uh, buy some more stuff. Right now we're destroying toxic barrels. Which, uh, okay, this uh, isn't going to work too well as that ship. I like stop flying so close to those. So UTA is coming in to attack. Okay, good.
Excellent. Gotta get that, uh, gotta get that data. Go to get that. Pretty dumb. I just blew up, but it's okay. We're gonna rebuild new ships. So. Here we go. One. There we go. We got a much more, um, like, maneuverable ship now. I'll admit, cannons are pretty nice. We've, uh,. So we got, uh, this boomerang's pretty nice, maneuverable ship. Again, it's got just the two cannons on it, but it's pretty good. Um, really wanted the tug. Hopefully we'll be able to get that. Oh, hey, and yeah, since passing by the beacon, I'll just dump that res. I was only carrying, like, six pieces out of anyway. Six out of nine. Hee 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 hee. I'm, I'm really liking uh, playing uh, this uh, full screen, though. Whoa there. Go. Whoa there. Let's not... Uh, Oh my gosh, there's so many. Ah, let's take this guy out. Little anchovy thing. Anchovy ship. I'll take you out. Ow. Just ran into his missile. Just, just flew into it. Come here. So it's uh today is looking like an, a a uh, big recording day. Oh, come give me that. Today's looking like a big recording day. Um, I'm out of my. Oh, I need those. I need those. I need that crew. Yes, I need that crew. Um. But uh, I'm out of my. Uh, my Avernum backlog again, so I'll be recording that as well. Ah! Okay, there's a tug. We're gonna be. We're gonna do okay, we're gonna be toast. Oh my gosh, we're actually gonna take him down. Oh my gosh, we took him down. Give me that. I need that blueprint. Nice. I need those crew, too. If any of those hostages give you lip, you throw them out the window. I love that, uh, is, I, I love that little concept that, like, not every crew you pick up is gonna want to join you. And some of them, you like actually see them getting kicked out the window. All right, so let's uh, let's move on. Did that? Let's go check. Let's go tank out that uh, blockade now.
Go take him out. No! Alright, need to wipe out all of them. And here they are right there already. back a little bit. Okay, blow up. I can do that too. But uh, we're actually doing pretty good. I'm gonna do this with my shield recharge on this ship. Oh, we did him. We did him. I have not left, the bastards. Unfortunately, from this moment on, it's nothing but harder. If we're gonna survive, a pirate's life is all about, it's all we have the luxury of now. The warp gate back online, so let's heat up the warp capacitor and set a course. We've all been here far too long, it's time we moved on. Oh yeah, I can build that tug. Build me that tug. All right, this, um, this ship's almost dead anyway. We can't actually build it from this one. Okay, we're gonna build it from this one. So you can see it's got a big turret here. Medium uh, focal emitter. Well, we're gonna give up the that one. It's got it's got missiles, tractor beams. It's got a lot of stuff. All right, so we're gonna do that. All right, we're looking good. Um, let's research. I'm gonna put up, um, let's buff up our armor. And let's also buff up our turrets. Uh, subsystems. Okay, tractor beams, point defense, scanners. Okay, uh, we'll boost up crew as well. I sure hope you're paying attention. All right, there will be a quiz after. As you clear warp gate blockades, you'll unlock connections that allow you to travel to different star systems. The star map shows all the warp gate connections in the galaxy and how powerful each star is. As you get closer to the core, the star's tech levels will increase. Beware of traveling to a star with a level well beyond your own. The more dangerous a star is, the more red its icon will be. If the star is beneath your level, it will be green, while yellow means your levels are evenly matched. In addition to the tech level, there are many defining features of a star system. Most important is the civilian and UTA relationship with you. Your actions can change these relationships, altering how they respond to you and what missions are available. Your relationships do not carry over from one star to another. Every new star you come across will have an untainted, but not necessarily hospitable, opinion of you. We can zoom in here. So this is like the one place we can go now. Uh, this is interesting star map already. Like uh, there's This is level 9 gated over here. Um, we probably won't ever visit there, or there, because they don't go anywhere, just this one goes out here, and then it's, uh, it goes from like 9 to 13, that's quite an interesting jump here. Um, but actually, we're uh, actually going to go here first. So here we go. We haven't refitted our ships yet, but we'll get there. We're gonna dock. Black market catalog. Let's go ahead and buy this uh, standard shield. And I guess we can't afford the reactor, so all right. Let's, uh, let's convert some goons for res. Um, I don't even know what we have here. Alright, so we have 88 goons and 64 res. Let's convert some stuff so we can buy that, um... Okay, it costs 76.
All right, that's weird. So we can't actually afford it anyway. All right, well, all right, here we go then. I guess it doesn't come out of our, of this over here. Oh, we don't need to, I don't need to go back there. I keep forgetting that. Like I don't actually need to go there. So let's go to the star map and we're gonna go here. Can't believe we actually cracked the gate. I haven't left home since I was a kid before the UTA locked down all the outer fringe worlds. As impressive as it may be to you, this is elementary compared to what's ahead. When doing projects for the UTA, we came across Titan class warp gates. Only the UTA flagship was able to power them, but we never saw them get used. Supposedly, they used a massive emitter called the Titan Beam to generate the energy required. I'm sure by now there are dozens of Titan gates between us and the core. Sadly, your optimism has little merit, and we currently have no way to open them. Well, that was a nice story, but I assume you have a plan to remedy our technical shortcomings, right? Indeed. The Titan Beam mechanism isn't beyond my understanding, but acquiring the parts will be problematic. The first thing we need is a focus crystal suitable to emit the beam. I'm going to need to do some local scans. Unfortunately, I wouldn't expect the civilian science base in the system to be very hospitable. I have a soured relationship with them. On the other hand, Admiral Jameson is posted at the UTA base in the system, and he owes me a favor. Admiral Jameson, have you gone batshit crazy? Don't you remember the other day when we destroyed a whole pile of UTA attack ships? All that pew-pewing and explosions, remember? Carl's right on this one. These UTA colonies are as isolated as everyone else. They have no clue what's going on beyond their gates. I've seen these UTA operations long enough to realize they are anything but organized. They go months without supply drops and turn to freelancers and mercenaries to make ends meet. I would bet there are still several UTA colonies that are in similarly rough shape. It's worth checking out, but carefully. This is a public service announcement. So you are now being let loose upon the galaxy. You are free to take jobs, interact with colonies, and wreak havoc. Take your time and explore the universe. Use the objective screen if you need to get yourself back on track. Check the system map frequently to see what's going on in the neighborhood. Clear additional warp gate blockades and travel to new star systems using the star map. If at any time you feel the need for a refresher, you can push F7 to see a list of all the tutorials you've been presented with so far. Alright, so the UTA likes us, civilians dislike us. So this is a little bit different than our other place. Let's uh, go visit the UTA base, since it's, that's what it wants us to do. It's like our objective here. <sighs> oh man, I gotta come up with that voice for this guy. Carl, you son of a bitch, is that you? It's been a long time, it's still not nearly long enough. What the hell do you want? Greetings, Jameson. How's the depth perception? You happen to still remember the incident with the ambassador's wife a while back? Well, of course you do. My prolonged silence is going to cost you yet again. Nothing major, we just need to dock and use the scanner for a few hours. Very well, you bastard. I haven't. I see you haven't changed at all over the years. Do your damn scans and get the hell out of here. Dock at the station. All right, so primary mission objective. Carl knows of a derelict spacecraft that can be billaged for a focus crystal. Right. I've completed scans of the area. During my time here, I was able to stash away a few office supplies, including a Delta-class science vessel. You never know when a rainy day may come. At any rate, it has a suitable ion crystal we could amplify for the Titan gate beam. We need to go salvage it right away. Let's dock. All right. Um. Let's see what they have to buy. So basic engines, medium armor, disruptor cannons. Okay, so well, looks good. We'll um. So this is our event here, the experiment site. Over here we have comet spotted. A uh, comet has been spotted in the area. It may contain valuable resources and scientific data. They're extremely dangerous and can easily damage the largest of ships. Um, trash heap, civil, civil relations up, UTA relations up, save relations up. We're kind of going to be like focusing on the UTA in this one since they're both stronger and like us. So let's uh, go ahead and jump to this crossing guard. 
Uh, the UTA ship is trying to pick up a supply drop, but civilian raiders have shut up an ambush. The UTA ship needs backup. Um, actually, what we're going to do is head back home. And we're going to stop the recording for today. Call this good. Um, but yeah, like a lot of the reason I like this game is it, it lets you do your own thing, but at the same time, it does have a story you can follow, like, like you're supposed to follow. You can ignore it if you want, I guess, maybe, but uh, we're going to be following it. And, you know, we still don't know what the, what's going on here. What's, uh, what the zombies, what are the zombies doing here? We, uh, we still don't know. So, we'll, uh, we'll figure that out. And we're gonna save. Accept. Yep. And then we're gonna quit.